Here's a friend's computer booting El Capitan, Mac OS El Capitan. And this is on eight terabyte Western Digital Red hard drive. So the hard drive is a NAS hard drive. We're having some problems with this hard drive. We can't really reboot the system, but we can shut it down and, and turn it on, which is probably good enough. It's an eight terabyte hard drive. So there's the Mac Chime. And the hard drive on these Macs boots very slowly. So this is probably the fifth or sixth boot on this thing, so it should be speedier than usual, but as usual, it takes about 20 seconds until it hits the graphics drivers and it speeds up. Usually in the middle, it just flies to the end here, so let that happen. There it goes. Now it's going to boot up. So this is my friend Ray's machine that I'm working on for him. And it works very well. Ray wanted a really big hard drive, so he got it. Log in here. So on this system we have nice things like Microsoft Word that comes with the Mac or goes with a Mac. Word 2016. The only trouble with this is you can't really get, I guess you can't really get a uh, project for this thing, plus other stuff. Anyway, all this office stuff works, but my friend likes Visio, and I don't think there's Visio from the Mac, so I put a VM here on for him under VMware Fusion 10, which is different than Fusion 8. It's probably better in a way, but anyway, there's a Windows 10 VM that I have on here for him, and I can restart this from suspend, and it'll resume. And this is kind of slow, but once the VM is running, it runs really good. This is Windows 10, so my friend does also work with uh, architectural stuff with Visio, so this is what he really needs to be effective in his career. So we'll make that happen for him. So you'll see this VM will come up. Windows 10 VM. Well, that doesn't look too good. I've never seen it do that. And so I sort of forced the machine off because it takes a long time to uh, come down. So. That's depressing. Let's turn it off. We don't want to suspend it. Well, we're learning about this thing. Okay, so I don't want to suspend it. I want to reboot it. Resume. No. It's suspended. Okay, let's resume it. And now how can I shut it down? Restart right there. Boom. Restart this guy. So what happened was I forced the Mac to shut off because it was shutting off really slow. So I suppose what it's doing is it's flushing out pages or V Fusion 10 is doing some weird stuff when I turn the Mac off, but it takes a long, long, long time. So apparently that whole thing when it's Shutting down the Mac is necessary for Fusion to run right when you're suspending or else it blows the thing up. So maybe the best thing to do with this VM is just to uh, close it down and uh, not reboot it, not suspend it, just, just shut it down. So that's what I'm going to do this time. So it's repairing itself or something ugly here. I had Windows working here perfectly until I shut down the Mac and didn't shut the Mac down properly. So if your power goes out on the Mac, that could really screw up VMware Fusion, which is depressing. Okay, so now Windows 10 looks reasonable. What I'm going to do now 
is log in and show off some of the things I have installed on here. So to take this thing to a full screen, so now you don't want to use it like this. If you really want to use Windows 10 on Fusion on the Mac, you just want to go here to view and say full screen, and then you have a real experience like you're on Windows 10. So here we are. We're on the Mac, but it, for all intents and purposes, it looks like Windows 10. So here we have Excel and all that stuff installed. This isn't the latest stuff, but it's Office 2010. It works, you know. I like the snappy performance on this thing. It's really snappy, so. But I think what I'm going to advise my friend is that if he wants to use this VM, he's got to shut the VM down. Like, like, shut the VM down. Don't, don't save it or, 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 or suspend it. Shut it down. So, here's his Vizio that he likes. So, all the stuff he wants is on here. Now, I'm going to get out of this thing. So, if I want to take this thing back to a window, I've been holding the mouse way up here and just kind of waiting for the window to pop up. There it goes. Now I can say view and I can say single window. And then I can move this thing around and do Mac stuff also. But what I want to do is now I want to shut down this Mac and send my friend this hard disk. So I want to do a shutdown on Windows 10. Shut down. That's probably the best way is turn off the VM all the time. Turn it off. Shutting down. So the Windows 10 VM is shutting down, which is probably a good thing. Cleaner that way, right? It's taken a long time, so I upgraded this VM with Windows Update and it probably has some junk it's working on. I plus installed a bunch of programs onto it, so it's probably sorting all that stuff out. I've lost the mouse movement here. There. Now, what does this mean? I don't really use this stuff ever, so if I do a... I just want to exit this thing. Quit VMware Fusion. Okay. I've quit VMware Fusion. Now, I want to shut the Mac down, and if I suspend VMware Fusion, this thing takes forever to shut down, so let's see if it will shut down nicely now for me. So now we're gonna turn the Mac off. Shut down. Don't want windows open to shut down. Let's see how long this takes. It has a black, little white circle that spins for a long time. And I don't, okay, good. It just shut down. So this is how to do it. You really wanna turn off your VM. So I'm gonna boot this thing back up. And again, this is a eight terabyte Western Digital Red NAS hard drive. So it's not that speedy. It's not like an SSD, but I'm really happy with this hard drive. It's been great. You you can't reboot the Mac with this hard drive. It, the hard drive locks up, but you can power it down and power it up. And maybe that's good enough. So here we are booting up again. And it takes time. So again, this is El Capitan on a Western digital red NAS hard drive. It does take time. So I did find out that this thing will suspend pretty nicely. There it comes. So now we're up. Once this thing's running, I get pretty good performance out of everything. Like I can bring up Chrome here and it's not super speedy, but once it loads once, it comes up fast the second time. There's Chrome, let's turn it off. Go back to Chrome, second time it's good, yep. And the same with Firefox, which I put on here. Here's um, Safari. Yep, pretty darn fast. Okay, so let's use the VM again. Let's go here to the uh, 
Fusion 10, bring it up. Okay, here's a VM. Uh, it's kind of big and ugly in my face, so I'm gonna make it smaller. There we go. So I guess when I press this, it'll boot. Let's see what happens here. It should boot up. And since I turned Windows 10 off, it should boot right back up. So maybe the use case for this is, yes, you do turn off your VM, or you suspend the Mac. You suspend both, but you don't suspend Windows 10 VM and then turn the Mac off. It's ugly. Believe me, it's ugly. Do you want to see how ugly it is? I can show you. If I have enough video here. Coming up on 10 11 minutes here. It's a long time, long video here. Okay, well, this thing is taking its old time to boot up. It's awfully slow coming from start. I'm guessing it's probably refactoring some of the updates I put into it from my friend here. So here it's booting, 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 Windows 10. Okay, so here's 10, it's up. Let's log my friend in here. Okay, we're in. What if, what if I now suspend Windows 10? I just suspend it, so I go suspend, and it's suspending, and it's done. Okay, so now I don't really want to shut down Windows or, or the, the Mac. I don't want to shut down the copy town. It's ugly. So I go here, and I say sleep, and now the Mac sleeps. And so we're using power still, but we're sleeping, so... The power light on this thing is still on. It's, it's sleeping. Hit the space key. Comes back up, so... That's a possibility. Bring up the fusion machine. So this is reasonable. The next video, I'm going to show you how ugly it is to uh, to save this machine, to to suspend the VM and then shut down El Capitan. You'll see it's very ugly.